Business news now. The Manpower Ministry says flexible work arrangements may not be suitable for every job and is cautioning against a one-size-fits-all approach. Minister of State Gan Xiaohuang was responding to an adjournment motion by Workers' Party MP Louis Chua, who had called for such arrangements to be legislated. She told Parliament that firms should take a broader view of more fluid work schedules. For flexible work arrangements to be sustainable, we also need to consider the impact on individual productivity and team productivity. More international literature on the business impact of flexible work arrangements have emerged recently and they have found that the impact of flexible work arrangements on productivity differs across sectors and job roles. The key is to make sure that we identify the right forms of flexible work arrangements for different job needs and ensure that communication between management and employees and within teams remains strong. Mr Gan said employers are thinking hard about making work more fluid to attract and retain talent. And she says good progress has been made. Ms Gan added that guidelines will be introduced to set norms and expectations on how employees can request for flexible work. But Mr Chua argued that more needs to be done. After all, business leaders have a myriad of reasons stemming from inertia and a conservative mindset for dragging their feet when it comes to the adoption of FWS in the post-pandemic workforce. Such resistance by some still persists despite several studies showing that FWAs have been effective in driving up workplace productivity and improving employee well-being and motivation. Mr Chua said legislation also allows parents to take care of their children, especially when they fall sick. He argued that current childcare leave is not enough. Mr Chua added that single parents can also benefit as they often single-handedly juggle between caregiving duties and work. But Ms Gunn said that flexible work arrangements are not a silver bullet. It is merely one aspect of a more supportive ecosystem that we seek to build in helping employees manage both their work and family responsibilities. Other initiatives such as subsidised care services and caregiver support networks are also important. The government will work with employers and other community partners to strengthen these.